can take this iron duct the cause you gas analyzer gas meter and carbon monoxide detector expert folks welcome and today we're talking about carbon monoxide detectors when you first purchase your carbon monoxide detector folks you're gonna do three main things first you're gonna place fresh batteries in the detector okay with all the detectors we sell the carbon monoxide detectors we provide you with fresh batteries if they come with no batteries make sure you're not using the old ones under your drawer you're gonna get yourself some fresh batteries so that the detector can last you as long as possible just in case you forget to change the batteries on an annual basis which you should be doing number two you're gonna press the test button folks i can't tell you dr cards is my ceo detector working well you have to press the test button to confirm the buzzer's working, the LCD is working, and the electronics in general are operating as you would expect. Very, very important. And do that on a frequent basis, weekly or monthly, I recommend, folks. And thirdly, read the instructions. The instructions will give you a fantastic guide in where to place the detector. And actually, it's somewhat, to me anyway, it's common sense. You're going to place it where you're going to you can see it you're gonna place it not behind furniture you're gonna place it somewhere where it's gonna give you a good audible alarm you're gonna place it somewhere there's no dead space very important actually people forget about that then if some people say i'm gonna place it up in the ceiling well sometimes we have vaulted ceilings and most often at the peak of the vault this stagnant air this dead air it's not moving so it doesn't represent the the air that we are breathing so very important folks i would recommend keeping it at head height um, make sure it's not at shoulder height where it can be bumped or too low where children can tamper with it or you could scrub it off the hallway with your leg or something like that so be careful you're not going to be bumping into it you want it somewhere where you can see the lcd on a daily basis on a hallway at head height i have my place i usually have it like this so when i'm walking past i could always have a glance at the lcd to make sure i'm not getting any low levels that's lower than the alarm threshold and where we can hear it. If it does buzz, the whole house is gonna hear it. In the hallways, usually a nice place in the living room. And also the bedrooms, folks. The bedrooms is a big one. That's where most people are actually carbon monoxide poisoned. In the nighttime, when the heater's working, or if there's a problem with the heater, or it's giving you some backdrafting, or some other effects are going off, unintentional carbon monoxide is coming from a portable generator or from a car left on in the garage. I've seen it all, folks. These are common ways where one is poisoned with carbon monoxide so be smart folks and also carbon monoxide actually moves with the air it has a similar density to it, so it moves around with the air based on your ventilation system and as dictated by temperature effects and micro plumes folks so think about that and oh by the way look forensics detectors offers low level carbon monoxide detectors the carbon monoxide detectors that you are familiar with or you probably have at home is ul 2034 standard now look all municipalities cities states demand to have a ul 2034 it's a very thick uh, type of regulation that the the detector must comply with but there is one issue with it that i have and that is it's it alarms at 70 parts per million from 60 to 240 minutes now you have to ask yourself the question right do i if i'm an older person and i'm sensitive and i'm on an oxygen uh, system well i'm going to be much more sensitive to the carbon monoxide effects than a middle-aged healthy person likewise if you have children and these low level detectors are a fantastic complement to a ul2034 it's going to give you an earlier alarm this alarms at 25 parts per million in 60 seconds folks do your research look into it it's an invaluable invaluable piece of equipment to have in your home likewise we have two versions our j001 and d001 folks not much difference it's only the way they look because we know you want something different so that's what we have oh and by the way folks look you've probably seen these test cans on walmart or any other place on amazon now this is test gas that you squeeze and you trigger the detector to make sure it look it's a fantastic idea i highly recommend if you can to purchase some test gas to squeeze onto your detector to make sure it functions if you have any questions this is the premium this is the ultimate way to test your carbon monoxide detector all right folks looks get back to your families have a fantastic day and i hope i have answered some of your general questions regarding carbon monoxide detectors have a great day. See you soon.